Hi, my name is Dave Holmes. Welcome back to CyclingPhysio.com. So in this series of videos we're going to be talking about capnography, which is the science and the study of the way that we breathe and the effect on our blood chemistry and its effect on our physiology. So in this first video what we're talking about is the Bohr shift. And you know, this isn't a physiology lecture, we don't have to get into the fine, fine details, but essentially what you need to understand is that carbon dioxide exists in the blood as an acid, carbonic acid. And when we have too much carbon dioxide, or when the levels of carbon dioxide go up, the blood becomes more acidic, and when the blood becomes um, more alkaline, it's because there's less carbon dioxide present. Now, it's very rare for people at rest to have too much carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide, that acidity of the blood is what drives that desire to breathe. You know, when you hold your breath, what builds up slowly and slowly and slowly is that acidity and eventually it gets too uncomfortable and you, you eventually have to breathe back in. It's far more common for people to have blood that is too alkali because they overbreathe. they actually get rid of too much carbon dioxide. And the reason that that is a problem is because of this Bohr shift. And essentially what that is, is when the blood is too alkali or not acidic enough, the hemoglobin starts to hold on to the oxygen too tightly. It doesn't release it well into the tissues. Now, we tend to think about breathing as this process where we want to get as much oxygen in as absolutely possible and as much carbon dioxide out as absolutely possible. That's not actually true. The oxygen coming in is, is the easy part and it, it almost always happens without a problem as long as the lung tissue is healthy. The, it only takes about a quarter of a second for the blood vessels to completely, the little red blood cells, they get completely full. It's like if you're filling up your gas tank, it's full in a quarter of a second. And yet they take more than a second to travel through the lungs. So the, the oxygen always gets in. But it's the acidity of the blood that determines how easily that oxygen is released into the muscles and released into the brain where it can do some good. So if your blood is not acidic enough, you may be getting enough oxygen in, but you're not going to be releasing it to your muscles. Your, your performance is going to suffer. And also your ability to concentrate is going to suffer. And there's a widespread host of other complications of not having enough oxygen supply to the muscles and to the brain. But if we think just in terms of cycling, you're not going to be having a very good ride, okay, if you don't have a good release of that oxygen, okay? So in our next video, what we're going to talk about is some of the other ramifications of not having enough carbon dioxide in your blood.